Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. And today we're going to continue talking about our featured work of literature. Unwind.、Mm. It is an absurd look at aborting teenagers. In our program last time, we summarized the story for you. The main characters are Connor, Connor, Risa, and Lev,、mm. and they're kind of running away from the government. And it's about a dystopian future、uh, in the world in which the government、uh, aborts teenagers for their organs and stuff like that.、Uh, what the heck is this all about? Well, in today's program, we're actually going to be talking about the author and、uh, why he has come up with some of these ideas and what exactly he's trying to say. Uh, better explain. One of the words you used was dystopian, which is an、mm. adjective for the noun dystopia. D y s t o p i a. It's an imagined place or imagined state or country where everything is unpleasant or bad, and it typically happens in a a country or a place where the rulers or the government、um, they're really totalitarian. They don't allow anyone freedom. And、uh, it's just a bad place to be. But we have lots of novels that are written in this、uh, kind of、uh, dystopian attitude or world. It seems、this、to be quite common these days. Like the Divergent and、uh, the Hunger Games and、yes. stuff like that are all talking about these kinds of futures where things just aren't going well for everybody. It's not utopia. No, utopia is the opposite, which means kind of like paradise, heaven. Everything is perfect.、Um, I think people get、uh, down on the earth and our society, but it's a lot better than some of these、uh, dystopias that we're seeing in movies. Let's get started, guys. We're going to talk about the author, who is Neil Shusterman. And、uh, his background a little bit, and、uh, let you know who he is.、Mm. Let's get going. I'm going to read this one, and then we'll be back. American author Neil Shusterman knew that he wanted to become a writer from an early age. After graduating from university with degrees in psychology and drama, he immediately began his writing career. Within a year, he signed his first book deal. During his career, Shusterman has won awards from the International Reading Association, the American Library Association, and several other organizations across the U.S. He has also acquired a reputation as a successful scriptwriter, penning scripts for movies, TV series, and stage plays. In addition, Schusterman has even branched out into directing short films. And creating music when time allows. Through his work in all of these genres, Schusterman has established himself as a master storyteller. Many of his tales deal with subjects that both teenagers and adults can relate to. Quite often, Schusterman addresses sensitive issues that are relevant in today's society from a new perspective. Although these topics are usually serious, he is able to inject a bit of humor into his writing. To lighten things up, Schusterman attributes his success to his mentors, who encouraged him to write when he was young. He has also derived inspiration from famous writers such as John Irving, Kurt Vonnegut, and Douglas Adams. In addition to these influences, he has also developed his own unique approach to writing. Schusterman rarely begins his work with a specific ending in mind. Instead. He lets his characters determine what will happen next. In terms of story ideas, he tries to be open to all possibilities. In fact, the concept of unwind came from a mix of sources: a new story about teenage runaways in England, the abortion debate in the U.S., and an article about the future of transplants and donations. All right, everybody. Let's get to it. Let's discuss the contents of today's lesson. We're talking about the author of our featured work of literature entitled "Unwind," 
And the author, his name is Neil Shusterman. So American author Neil Shusterman knew that he wanted to become a writer from an early age.、Uh, we often hear this about people who are quite successful. If you're a famous violinist, of course,、uh, you're going to say that you started playing the violin before you learned how to walk. In this particular case,、uh, Neil Shusterman knew that he wanted to be a writer when he was very, very young. He knew it from an early age, and After graduating from university with degrees in psychology and drama,、mm. he immediately began his writing career. Now, of course,、uh, if you study in university and you want to be a writer, you don't necessarily have to just take writing courses. Yeah,、uh, you can study certain kinds of fields and then be a writer. In that field, so he studied psychology, which is all about the mind and how we think and stuff like that. And drama, of course, has to do with plays and things like that. Of course, they probably、uh, did a lot of、uh, research on Shakespeare and Marlowe and people like that. Right. So uh, he, uh, I, I thought it was interesting that he. It says here he got a degree in drama. That could be different things. It could be screenwriting, script writing.、Mm. It could be acting. It could. Be technical、uh, things that you know. Some people want to be lighting directors, or、uh, they they do the sets for the stage. So we're not really sure, but it's in drama somewhere. He.、Uh, Finished his college degree and within a year, which is amazing, he signed his first book deal. That's crazy fast. Cool. So you can tell、um, that he had some things ready even before he was finished、uh, college. So that's a good way to start. Get writing、uh, while you're still in school. During his career, Schusterman has won lots of awards. Here's some of the awards that were given from different groups. One. He got from the International Reading Association,、uh, another from the American Library Association. So they,、um, both of them, give out different kinds of awards. They usually have awards for different types of books. There are awards for nonfiction, fiction. There are even book, even book awards for teenage, teenage books, teenage literature, little kids.、Mm-hmm. An association is a group of people that are organized for some、uh, purpose. Uh, that they all work towards. So you'll see association a lot. There were other、uh, organizations across the U.S. that he also got awards from. Mm, indeed, and of course,、uh, we're not going to get into them because they're too numerous to mention. And he has also acquired a reputation as a successful script writer, penning scripts for movies, TV series, and stage plays. So, if you have a reputation, a reputation rather,、uh, a reputation means that、uh, lots of people admire you, and you've got a name for yourself and stuff like、mm, that. Let me let me interrupt quickly.、Sure. Reputation is not good or bad. You have to put something in front of it, so it doesn't mean that everyone thinks you're great. You might have a, a bad reputation. Yeah,、mm-hmm. it's just what people think about you, right? All、uh, right, but in this particular case, though, he's got a reputation as a successful scriptwriter, so that makes it positive、mm. here. A scriptwriter, of course, is someone who writes a script,、uh, which, of course, is、uh, basically what you need if you want to make a movie or if you want to produce a play or something like that.、Uh, you've got this、uh, book that's got all the、uh, actors' lines and、uh, what the camera angles are and stuff like that. It's all part of the script. And here we've got the word penning.、Uh, that's just being、uh, using. The word pen as a verb. We don't do that too often, but、uh, sometimes we do it if we talk about literature、uh, to write scripts for movies and also for TV series. I guess series there、uh, refers to different kinds of TV series、mm-hmm. and also stage plays, plays that are、uh, performed on a stage in front of a live audience. Yeah, no, scriptwriter is kind of general. So if you write for the movies, you're a screenwriter. If you write for TV series, you're a screen. Writer, but if you write for the theater, those stage plays, you're a playwright, which is a different type of term. But scriptwriter is pretty general. Now, in addition, Schusterman has even branched out into directing. He has directed some short films and even、uh, composed music when he had enough time. So, if you branch out, it means you start from one、uh, interest. Maybe he's in drama, and then you know a little side adventure would be doing something else. For example, if you're 
dancer, you dance, but then you think, oh, I kind of want to act. So some dancers kind of branch out into acting, and then they might think, I can sing. I'm going to just do some records too, so you can branch out into different things. So he's quite talented, I would say. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid. I heard that, of course,、uh, when I was a kid growing up, I always thought that、uh, Honda. Or Honda, as you call、yeah. it, only made motorcycles. But later on, they、oh. branched out into making cars. And nowadays, of course, so Honda is one of the world's leading、uh, manufacturers of cars in the world. They、Great、branched、cars. out into cars,、yeah. but he has branched out into directing short films, not big ones yet.、Mm. And also, he composes music when he has time. Now, through his work in all of these genres. Schusterman has established himself as a master storyteller. Now, if you talk about、uh, different kinds of arts, whether it's movies or art or music or whatever, we have these different categories, and we use the word genre. It's a category for artistic composition, as in music.、Uh, maybe there are different genres of music, like classical music, opera,、mm -hmm. uh, jazz, uh, electronica, stuff like that. Those are different genres of music. And different genres of literature. You mentioned some earlier nonfiction, fiction, etc., etc. Yeah, those are different genres. True enough. So he has worked in different genres. Notice we're not saying genres or、uh, genres. It's、oh. genres. It's a French word. It hurts my、uh, ears. I know it's terrible.、Uh, if you establish something, you set something up. Usually, right? You set up a practice. Maybe you set up an office. Establish a new company. But here, it just means he. He has made people aware that he is able to do these certain things. So he has kind of established his reputation, right? He's established himself as a master storyteller. He's a great storyteller. Some books that people write, they really don't have much of a story. Maybe they look into a person,、uh, his characteristics, his personality, a little bit more than telling a story where a lot of things happen. But he actually has、um, been. Deemed a master storyteller, someone who's really good at that. Many of his tales deal with subjects that both teenagers and adults can relate to. If you can relate to something, it means you've had that experience yourself. You get it. You understand it. And typically, teenagers think that their parents don't relate to anything in their lives. But in this case, it says he has some stories that will appeal or will be、um, enjoyed by teenagers and their parents. And this can be used in a lot of different situations.、Uh, for me, for example,、uh, I know a lot of people who like blues music, but、yeah. I just don't get it. I just Don't relate to it. It just doesn't、uh, do anything for you. It just doesn't do anything for me. I just can't relate to it. But、uh, well, maybe they can't relate to some of the music I like either. But in any case, that's just an example. And we're going to take a little bit of a time out right now and turn things over to our Chinese teacher. Please listen carefully. Hello, 大家好，欢迎收听 English Digest。我是 Trevor。今天我们要阅读的文章是 Unit Fifteen 文学单元的第二天课程。首先，文章的第一段提到小说《Unwind》的作者在年轻时候就成为了一位作家，并在他的写作生涯中得到了许多奖。同时，他也涉猎电视、电影和舞台剧。我们看到第一段的第三句 ：“Within a year, he signed his first book deal。”一年内，他就签下他的第一份出书合约。名词 “deal” 在本句是 “a formal agreement, especially in business or politics”。也就是政治或商业上的协议或交易。Make rich strike a deal with somebody， 就是指和某人达成协议或交易。例如 ，The salesman struck a deal with an international company, bring a profit of six million NT dollars for his company。这名销售员和一间国际公司达成交易，为自己的公司带来台币六百万元的获利。另外，和 deal 常见的相关用法还有 a big deal， 非常重要的事。例如 ，entering a good college is a big deal to high school students in Taiwan。进入好大学对台湾高中生而言是很重要的事。a good great deal of 搭配不可数名词，意思是大量的某物，相当于 a large amount of。例如。The scientist has done a great deal of research on the possible cure for AIDS. 
。这位科学家已在可能治愈艾滋病的方法上做了许多研究。我们接着看到第一段的最后一句 ：In addition, Husterman has even branched out into directing short films and creating music when time allows. 此外，如果时间上允许。舒斯特曼甚至涉足短片指导和音乐创作。In addition 是用来表示转折语气的片语，有再者、此外的意思，相当于 besides、furthermore、moreover、what's more、additionally。使用时要注意 ，in addition 并非连接词，不可以用来连接两个句子，要用分号和前一句分开，或是直接分成两句，例如。Lisa plays the piano very well. 句点或加分号，再加 in addition. 逗号 She has a beautiful voice. Lisa 钢琴弹得很好。此外，她的歌声很好。另外，还有一个片语是 in addition to. 我们先看到最后一段的第三句。In addition to these influences, he has developed his own unique approach to writing. 除了这些影响之外，他也发展出自己独特的写作方法。In addition to 后面接名词或 v i n g， 有除了什么什么之外的意思，语义包含其后所接的事物，相当于 besides。例如 ，In addition to badminton, Jack also likes to play volleyball。除了羽毛球之外，杰克也喜欢打排球。要注意的是 ，except 也有除了什么什么之外的意思，但是语义不包括后面所接的事物。例如 ，Jack likes to play all kinds of sports except badminton. 杰克喜欢各式各样的运动，但不包括羽毛球。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
But he's writing from a new perspective. Your perspective is how you view something. It's your viewpoint, your opinion. So he's trying to talk about these really sensitive issues. We could call them controversial issues、um, that are in today's society, but in a different way, from a new way of looking at things. So people will actually expand how they view things. It's a good idea. Now, although these topics are usually serious, he likes humor, so he injects or puts in a bit of humor into his writing to lighten things up. If you inject something, it usually means you push something in somewhere.、Uh, when you get shots from the doctor, those was it Jen?、Uh, uh, that's Jen, they、yeah. use injector injectors or shots to inject、uh, medicine into you. So he likes to put some humor into his writing. And when you make things that seem a little serious or even a little down happier, it means you're lighting lightening things up. So. That's a good idea for kids, especially.、Uh, we often use that phrase when we think people are being too serious. Oh, lighten up, will you? Mellow yeah, out. It's、on. not that serious. Gee, you're making a big deal out of this. Get a sense of humor. Exactly. Don't you have a sense of humor?、Yeah. So he injects a bit, or he uses humor sometimes to keep things light and not so serious. And Schusterman attributes his success to his mentors, who encouraged him to write when he was young. So here we've got a phrase to attribute something to. Something、uh-huh. that means he's saying that this is the reason why he is successful. He attributes his success to his mentors. Okay, so if he didn't have those mentors, he would not be successful. Thanks to my mentors, I am able to be successful. So I guess his mentors would be the people who advised him when he was younger.、Uh, maybe his、uh, instructors, maybe some other fellow writers and stuff like that. People he looked up to. Yeah, in the next sentence it says he also derived inspiration from famous writers, and then it lists three. If you derive something from something else, it means you get something from that source. So from these famous writers, he found or got or obtained some inspiration that gave him new ideas. John Irving.、Um, I saw a movie he did.、Uh, it came from his book, The Cider House Rules. Okay.、Uh, that had a really pretty girl in it, Charlene Theron, and then. Kurt Vonnegut. I've only read short stories that he did about science fiction.、Uh, Tom knows him better. And then Douglas Adams, guys,、uh, wrote a crazy book called The Hitchhiker's Guide to to the Universe, to Life, to the Galaxy, to the Galaxy, to Life, the Universe. It's a long title. And then、uh, John Irving also wrote that weird book that got turned into a movie, The World According to Garp. Starring、uh, Robin Williams, yeah, actually. So he's yeah. Uh, famous for writing some books like that as well. So these are people who inspired、uh, Mr. Schusterman here. And in addition to these influences, he has developed his own unique approach to writing. Of course, if you want to be a writer, you've got to be unique. You got to be special. So he's developed his own unique approach. Your approach is how you come to do something.、Mm-hmm. Okay, what you do. Uh, how you do your research, how you present your material, and stuff like that. So it's rather unique. If you read his stuff, you'll think, "Hey, this is different. I've never seen this style before." Yeah, well, they'll often say he has a unique voice,、mm-hmm. even though he's not speaking. His voice comes through his writing. Oh, that person has a unique voice. Their opinions are are unique and different. Schusterman rarely begins his work with an ending in mind. He hasn't decided when he starts his book how it's going to end, which is interesting. Instead, he says he lets his characters determine or decide what will happen next. So here, determine actually means to decide. He lets his characters, as they move through his book, kind of make up their own ending. Of course, it comes from him because he's writing the characters. But it's an interesting thing to think about. Determine your grades will sometimes determine how successful you are in life. Sometimes not so much.、Mm. Um, how you treat others will often determine how successful you are. So it will、um, establish or、uh, make sure that you know what's going on. Determine, yeah. Exactly. So that、uh, determines what happens next. So he basically just lets the story.、Uh 
tell itself. Basically, yeah, I guess that's what it sounds like here. And in terms of story ideas, if we say in terms of, that means well, if you want to talk about story ideas, well,、mm -hmm. he tries to be open to all possibilities. If you're a writer, of course, you got to come up with some ideas. Like, gee, what am I, what am I going to write about now? Well, let's write a story about a turkey and a donkey, and maybe a couple going for a walk in the country or something like that.、Uh, that might be your story idea.、Uh, so, in terms of those, he's. Open to all possibilities. Hey, I can think of anything. If anybody has any suggestions, I'm open to those suggestions. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll listen to you, and maybe I'll write a story based on your suggestions. You want to be open to possibilities, open to life, so that you just、uh, listen to other people's opinions. So it's not just you. In fact, it says the concept of unwind, the idea behind the book. That's a concept. Came from a mix of places or sources. There was a new. Story he read about teenagers running away from home in England. He also、uh, there's a lot about the abortion debate in the U.S. It's fifty fifty. Some people think it's horrible, and some people think they should be able to abort children. The other thing he got it from was an article about the future of transplants and donations. So you can see where all of these ideas、uh, come together in his story called Unwind. If you talk about transplants, you know what that is. You take an Organ from one person, and you put it into another person. Donations can be of of different things. When you donate something, it means you're giving something to a charity or some sort of organization that needs help. It could be money. It could be your time. It could be maybe you want to donate a car to them.、Mm -hmm. I know there's a commercial in the states where they ask for old cars from people to help a charity that helps kids. Yeah, and they sell the car and use the money to help those kids and stuff like that.、Uh, would you like to make a donation to the orphans' home? You might hear somebody ask you on the street. But hey, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today, and we'll talk some more about、uh, this story in our next program. But for right now, we're going to listen once again to our Chinese teacher. 文章的第二段提到 ，Schusterman 的故事涉及了青少年和成年人都会面临到的问题。我们看到这一段的第三句。Quite often, Schusterman addresses sensitive issues that are relevant in today's society from a new perspective. Schusterman 经常从新的观点来处理现今社会重要的敏感议题。本句有一个动词 address， 处理的意思，就相当于 deal with， cope with， c o p e， tackle， t a c k l e， handle， h a n d l e， approach。A P P R O A C H. 例如 ，You had better find a good way to handle this financial issue as soon as possible. 你最好尽快找到一个处理这个财务问题的方法。文章的最后一段提到 Schusterman 的写作灵感及风格。我们看到这一段的第一句 ，Schusterman attributes his success to his mentors who encouraged him to write when he was young. 舒斯特曼将他的成功归因于在早年时鼓励他写作的启蒙导师。动词 attribute 有归因、归功的意思。片语 attribute A to B 就是指把 A 归因于 B， 或者把 A 归功于 B。例如 ，The team attributed the failure of the project to a lack of funds。这个团队将这个计划的失败归因于资金不足。以上就是今天的课程，我们下次再会。That's all for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us, and please join us again next time when we continue to talk about our featured story, Unwind. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye.、Bye.